nearly 5000 people of various faiths and background visit Ajmer Sharif in Rajasthan every day. The revered shrine gives livelihood to many. Over 200 small scale units operate close by. Mostly these entrepreneurs are mithai walas or sweet makers specializing in a local sweet called Sohan Halwa. Nadim's ancestral house in Ajmer has served as a sweet making unit for almost a century. The skills have passed on from one generation to another. But it is under Nadim's supervision that the business has found a new direction. Every day Nadim caters to an order of nearly 100 kilos of Sohan Halwa. A few years back, he couldn't work with such ease. Like most of the other manufacturers, he used LPG or at times even kerosene as a fuel. But today he works with a biomass gasifier, a clean and cost-effective technology. A regular supply of biomass and assured services after the installation have made the gasifier a reliable option. The biggest thing is that किसी तरह का कोई रिस्क नहीं है गैस के मुकाबले में 25 परसेंट इसका एक बटा चार है खर्च एलपीजी का सिलेंडर भी एक 800 रुपए का आता है तो ये हमें बहुत महंगा पड़ जाता है इसमें हमारा 200 रुपए में काम हो जाता है लकड़ी में गैसी फायर में और सबसे बड़ी बात है कि पैसों की बचत व्यापारी के लिए सिर्फ अपनी बचत जरूरी है Biomass is the oldest fuel used by man since ancient times. The gasifier technology burns the biomass more effectively by converting wood into a combustible gas. Here is how it works. For the gasification process, ambient air is blown into the biomass gasifier. As the fuel bed gets ignited, the combustion process starts and temperature inside the gasifier reactor increases. This is diverted to a cyclone separator, which removes the dust particles from the gas. And this clean gas is now ready to fuel the furnace. The Energy and Resources Institute, or TERI, started developing the gasifier technology in 1984. The idea was to offer an alternative for small and micro enterprises that run on thermal energy and require temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Celsius. In India, the small and micro industry employs over 31 million people. One third of these units run on thermal energy from fossil fuels agro-residues like rice husk, groundnut shell and tires. By reducing smoke and pollutants, a gasifier helps improve the working conditions besides offering cost benefits. Initially, when the Terry gasifier was introduced in various enterprises, few understood the potential of this technology. The initial problem basically was that of the acceptance by the user. So one of the challenges was in learning from the users and adopting our gasifier technology to their needs. This is an interactive process. So this has taken nearly two years, during which time we continuously kept modifying the technology so that the user is satisfied. In 1994, support came from the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. STC's program in India has always been on rural development. So when in 94 STC saw gasifier for heat application, it was convinced of the potential the technology had and decided to demonstrate it in different small sectors. That triggered uh, the promotion of that technology in a variety of sectors such as dyeing. So it, it proliferated in some sense. Since then, there has been no looking back gasifiers are being constantly adapted and introduced to different kinds of industries.
In Bangalore, a midday meal scheme caters food every day to 64,000 children using two biomass gasifiers. Gasifiers have replaced LPG cylinders and the productivity of the kitchen has increased considerably. The food produced here now caters to 250 schools. Elsewhere in Bangalore, the silk time units too are using the gasifier. When it was first introduced in 1998, many small units were shutting shop due to rising fuel prices. But the Terry gasifier consumed less than half the fuel wood used in traditional ovens. The benefits were visible soon. Reduction in fuel cost by 40 to 70 percent, savings on fuel per day between 200 to 800 rupees, and improved working conditions and less smoke. But the start market mele, the kerosene diesel stuff akundo start market din amma dying na. So that le rate jasti bidog pordom, cash jasti bidog to. Nilse gasi fair ando, kero namma reviewer adonna kotro, adonna run mardi dibe. But yada le smoke din complaint illa. But na amount kora save akte din. डीजल बंदो 35 रुपीस आगे दे वगा 35 रुपीस अतरो डेली वंदो वंदो वाले क्या यार थोड़ा चिल्ड्रे खर्चा बढ़ते हैं आज ना गैस पेर आकर दे वंदा एंड नो रुपए एंड नो रेट रुपए नले अतो मुगी ताई दे Nearly 20 gasifiers are operational now in the silk dyeing units of Bangalore. In 2001, Terry installed the first biomass gasifier in a crumb rubber unit near Kochi. It replaced the conventional furnace for drying latex. This marked a turning point for the local rubber industry. One litre of diesel here, a landed cost in a factory would be around 36 rupees. That is substituted with around uh, 3.25 kgs of firewood at around um, two and a half rupees, which is not possible with any other form of energy other than a gasifier. Whether it be natural gas, coal, no, nothing can substitute it the way the gasifier can substitute it. Today, 10 rubber making units work on the Terry designed gasifiers. Gasifiers are also operational in sectors like silk reeling in Karnataka, namkeen making and plaster of Paris units in Rajasthan, steel re-rolling mills in Haryana, cooking for school children in Orissa and tobacco curing in Myanmar. One of the reasons for its popularity has been the quick payback period of three to four months. The technology has also led to the inception of two more industries, that of gasifier manufacturing and wood chip suppliers for fuel. At Chandarpur Power Works in Yamunanagar in Haryana, gasifiers are manufactured for several applications. Since they joined hands with Terry in the year 2000, they have sold many gasifiers to different industries. The technology also comes with a reliable customer support system for the users. Workshops are conducted regularly for buyers as well as the service providers. Eight gasifier manufacturers have been licensed by Terry. We give training workshops and first of all, people give us orientation about how these gasifiers are running, how to operate them, how to maintain them, what are the troubleshooting points, if there is any problem, what is the solution? All these things we give in training workshops. Today, 400 Terry gasifiers are being used in various micro, small and medium scale industries. Collectively, they have resulted in a reduction of 159,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions. The technology still has a huge untapped potential, especially in India, which produces an annual surplus of 150 million tons of biomass. To make this technology a greater success, it needs service providers from the private sector and also a network of local level institutions and government agencies to ensure a regular biomass supply. They can also help make gasifiers more cost effective. 
By making good business sense for all, the technology today stands on firm ground. If promoted on a large scale, it will bring energy security to millions of small-scale enterprises and also help in cooling off a heated planet.